Hi everybody, it's Michael from the Bougie Gardener. Well, today's the day I'm gonna tackle the back concrete walkway. I'm digging up all the saw and then I have a jackhammer to take up all the concrete. So this is what it kind of looks like right now. I got most of the grass up. And I gotta get rid of it. And I'm not gonna mm, jackhammer all the concrete, I don't think. I think I'm just gonna make it even so the walkway goes up to the gate and around and get rid of this concrete area here, fill it in with grass, and then make it meet here and come back to the deck. So, it's gonna keep on going. Um, so I'm out back today working on the walkway. Um, I showed you before the walkway that was all really dead from the grass because it was grown over on concrete. So I actually dug up all the sod. Um, I didn't video that, but I did take it all up. Um, the walkway of concrete actually looks quite nice. Um, it's just not the look I want to go for in the backyard here. So I dug up all the, all the walkway. I made it join a walkway to the gate instead of where it started at the fence line. Um, and I kind of repositioned the st stones. This is kind of what it looks like currently. So I have all the stones laid out in the pattern that I want them. And I'm then going to line it all with this black Scots mulch. Um, I like the Scots mulch because it uh, keeps longer and the chips don't decompose so quickly. Um, so I think with the black and the lighter tones of gray, it's gonna look really quite nice and, and go with the gray tones of our fence and our, and our decks and our pergolas. So I'm just gonna put all this uh, mulch down and then I'll show what it looks like. and it comes at the gate now not over here where it originated from and that is it and isn't that of course the barbecue will go back on the deck but isn't that beautiful and what I would like to do eventually is get some lavender maybe some Munstead lavender to go on either side of the walkway or some box boxwoods and this area here where the cement originated, we're going to get a little, almost like a little raised bed to put there, maybe grow some herbs and stuff. So, anyway, that's everything right now. So, um, I just used Scott's mulch. It's like 42.5 liters in the bag. Um, and I basically just, if the stone was wobbly or unsteady I just kind of put some um, dirt or topsoil underneath to level it out and stop it from moving and then I put those all in place first as you saw previously and then I just etched the mulch around the stone itself so I kind of worked its way in um, and kind of just buried um, the stone up to um, the top of the stone with the mulch and this area here um, was the only area that didn't have a border because it's kind of on the stone. So I just got um, one of these 48 inch borders and just kind of nailed it here um, and all the way there to kind of like keep the mulch in and neat and tidy as it goes all the way down. So anyway, I used about 13 bags to do this walkway. It's probably about 30 feet long. Um, and I used uh, about 13 bags of mulch, the 42.5 liter bags, and the stones I got at Home Depot, and they were probably, they were eight something each, so they cost me about $150 for the walkway, and I'm gonna say about 65, 70 for the mulch. So it's a pretty, um, a pretty cheap um, DIY, you know, for a walkway, considering, so. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.